Hi and welcome to Wow It. My name is Donna and I'm going to walk you through how to set up and use autoresponders on Gmail. Now in Gmail they actually call it something else. Uh, it's referred to as a vacation reminder. So I'm on my Gmail account, a demo account. You want to go to your gear icon, that's your settings, click on that and then select settings. From this selection we'll stay in the general portion of settings, scroll down to the bottom and here you'll find your vacation responder. Now within this the first thing you want to do is set up your text. Now when I click on text I'm going to pop in some text I've already created for this purpose and in fact we're not going to use the vacation responder as a vacation responder. We're going to use this as a default to respond to your website traffic. So for example if this account was being used as your contact form email you want to let people know right away what's going to happen when they send you a message. This is a great way to do that. So I popped in a, a little information here. Let's just adjust some formatting and you have complete control over the markup here just like you would in any other email or text. Now you'll notice when I copied that in Vacation Responder Off was automatically deselected and instead Vacation Responder On is now selected. If we leave it the way it is then it will begin immediately and it will go on forever until you manually come in and set it off. Instead you could add a time frame. So if we selected last day and then click on that option you can choose what time frame you want. In this case we're not going to do that. We're going to say this is a forever on response so that someone can get an immediate idea of what's happening when they reach out to contact you from your website. To enable this we simply save changes. Oh, uh, Before I do that one thing to note the response is only sent once to each sender except in this situation what will happen is every four days the vacation responder resynchronizes I guess is the best, the best way to explain that and when that occurs if someone sends another email and it has been four days since they receive the first response they'll receive that again. So it won't be too onerous for them in that situation. So we click Save Changes and now you'll see at the top of the screen is this yellow bar basically letting you know that you have an autoresponder on. You could stop it right away or you could modify the settings if you wanted to change the dates or the text. How does this work? Well off screen here I'm going to send an email from a separate account and there you'll see it's arrived. Let's see how that looks. So this is just a, a basic old email but you can see this is the response that was sent. Now how do we know that? Well again off screen I'm going to go into the other account. The sender account and the sender account received the automated response. So I'm just going to send that back so you can see exactly how that looked for them. So we'll go back into the inbox here and wait for that to arrive and that's pretty fast. So we'll just view the entire message. So 
So this is what the sender saw as that came through. So that's it. That's how you set up an automated response. Now again, using that yellow bar that was at the top of the account, you can end that at any time or you can modify the settings, change the date and the text. You're all set. That's how you set up autoresponders in Gmail. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.